So I'm going to speak to you today about the impacts of stakeholders in the development of physical education. So first PowerPoint. So the influence of skills active having on the curriculum. So skills active work uh, to getting young people trained and qualified in skills which are needed in the job industry. So skills active train people in order to get young people trained in the best of their abilities. So they give them lots of opportunities which they can then use um, later on um, to obviously get better uh, qualifications or better uh, knowledge which they can then go on to things like university um, and other things like that. Um, so skills active are employed lead organisations. So they um, work with employers um, to get um, basically other people um, out there making sure other companies um, can use uh, these people um, and then give them like extra employment they can also get um, a more say apprenticeships they can get them qualified in a lot more um, opportunities skills active run funded programs for young uh, adults children to engage in ranging in all different areas so skills active work in all over the country, they're working in uh, the heart of London, they're working all the way up in Scotland as well. So they're working everywhere in order to make sure every child has ex very similar opportunities to what every other child is having um, in, this, in, in this same um, development programme. So obviously, if all the children are having the same, um, like, same similar sort of opportunities this allows them to make sure that they um, can get the most out of their childhood to then so when they go on to getting jobs they've got the right um, qualifications and experience so the next slide is sports england so sports england are one of our national governing bodies which help fund projects to all different kinds around the country so they um, obviously pick different uh, projects to work on and then help with funding and getting all different kinds um, of projects as well they don't just focus on uh, certain types of projects they work um, for all different types they pick areas they need to work on and create projects all around the country so they'll go around looking for different projects um, projects that which are in high demand of uh, needing work on um, and then they will help with funding, um, getting children involved and young adults involved. So they work all the way around the country. So they're not just working in, uh, say, in cities. They're working out um, in, in the countryside as well and in different sort of areas as well. So they work with schools and local teams around the area as well. So working with the schools um, helps with um, getting children involved in sports and making sure that children um, know the sort of benefits which um, that can lead to so having a better social life so um, if people are struggling with being bullied or anything like that the social aspects of sports can really help with children um, getting out of, of that situation and feeling comfortable. The funding projects are all uh, all kinds related to sports so there it's loads of different types of projects so they can be like um, circus acts to sports clubs to uh, in school um, sort of equipment they can be all different kinds of projects um, this just allows children to get the most out of um, their education but also for when they're not in school um, they can also get the most um, out of sports as well so the next slide is uh, Girls Active. So Girls Active is um, a government initiative created by Sports England. Um, obviously the main project is to really get girls involved in sports as the percentage of girls participating in sports has dropped compared to boys over the recent years. This is mainly because um, more boys um, are associated with sports compared to girls. There's not really enough role models um, or girls are finding that it's really hard to get into sports compared to boys. So um, Girls Active was created in order to give girls um, the chance to be um, voiced and leadership engaged in sports as well. So get more girls involved in being a leader in sports, but also getting girls um, participating and then promoting um, girls' sports as well. So obviously the more girls you have um, involved in sports, the more um, girls will then be able to promote it be role models for other girls um, and then the cycle just flows 
So obviously Girls Active then obviously go into schools. Um, they really promote Girls Active uh, in schools, so getting girls involved in after-school clubs and then um, also getting them involved in more PE-based as well. So um, Girls Active also work um, in youth clubs as well and they really help to try and promote um, girls getting involved in sports and also um, getting them involved in some sort of um, activity, whether it's being a leader or whether it's just being a, a participant or whether it's being on the sideline doing um, refereeing or anything like that as well. Girls Active also look at um, getting girls in a social aspect, so um, getting them socialising with different um, people around. This should, they're also look at hopefully trying to cut down on bullying, um, as girls bullying is quite a high um, percentage in Britain. So they also um, are looking at getting girls feeling secure as well. So self-confidence is really improved by sports and also um, with security as in they're off the streets, they're in a group of um, other girls and they feel like they could talk to anybody as well. So if they have any issues, um, they can talk to um, whoever they're in a camp with or if they're in a school, they feel like they're able to talk to them.